you're going to be quite astounded by. His name is Movin Melvin Brown. A man, a magic, a music live. He's Magical journey through black music history. And it says he's performed here with James Brown, Stevie Wonder and the Commodores. He was on our show yes. last year and he's an absolute sensation. We had so a let's get him out here Absolutely. to do us a little bit. Can we, are you there, honey bun? We're moving, Melvin Brown! Whoa! I've been looking for it. <laughs> I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and for you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. That's just one of the people I do. But now let's get to work, okay? <laughs> All right. Amazing, amazing energy that you have, and, uh, and uh, uh, I'll just uh, run back uh, round there. 
Um, right. You have an amazing energy on the Thank stage. You. And you really go for it. And you do that every single time. Because last year that when you were with us, I know that you taught me to do it. Didn't yeah, you? Yeah, you taught yeah. me, taught me to do a little bit of a. I was shit. Have you um, been working on it? What I've been, yes, that's okay. what I wanted to say. Uh, I've been uh, working uh, on uh, it. Uh, May I just uh, ask you something? It may seem a little um, um, impertinent, really, but may I ask how old you are? Uh, between uh, twenty and sixty. <laughs> because I that I couldn't do that for longer than a few minutes, and you've just done it for a good must be five minutes. <laughs> and your your laughter is infectious. You are a joy to watch, Thank isn't you. he? It it just your energy just comes down to us all. It's wonderful. That's, and that goes on for an hour in the show. There's a puddle at the bottom there where we, where he was. Topping. You, what did you think? What did you think? Fantastic. Was, I had it? to... I Could you do that for an hour? I couldn't do anything for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, they always say, if you want to know how hard somebody's job is, do it yourself. And I was in me and my girl in the West End and when they asked me to do it, I hadn't noticed the tap. Can you believe that? And I had to learn it, and it took me. I was. I used to cry with agony trying to learn the tap, and you make it look like it is so easy. Well, it was easy for me to learn actually, because I grew up in a house of we had twelve children in mm -hmm. my parents. That was fourteen people, and we had one toilet. <laughs> 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 And now, did, uh, were more of your siblings, could they tap too? Could your father well, tap? Well, actually not. And I, I actually picked up tap on my own about 15, 16 years ago. I just kind of picked it up. Also, it wasn't from childhood. It wasn't from, like, growing up. It was just... No, it wasn't from childhood. It was from the fact that I had already booked the job tap dancing. <laughs> you already had a job tap, though. You told them you could tap. Yeah, And you yeah. couldn't tap. No, I couldn't tap when I told them that. <laughs> How extraordinary. And you've been working with the greats. I mean, yeah, uh, yeah. do you get nervous before you go on stage when there's a huge audience? Actually, for me, it, I'm always thinking, how much fun am I going to have this time? Yeah. How, <laughs> 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 uh, 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 because uh, in my show, you see, I, I tell a lot of stories about growing up in, in, uh, in the States. I grew up in, in Ohio. And, of course, during that time, you know, people like James Brown, B.B. King, mm -hmm. all these people were coming to Cincinnati to do shows. And I had to do our group. We'd open for them. So we got to hang out with them. So I, I got all of these stories about growing up in the States. And it, so I take people on three parallels, my life, the life of the music, and the life of the country. So there's a lot of things in there. That <laughs> you get all that in the hour. Yeah, wonderful. yeah, yeah. And you're now from uh, Austin, Texas, is that right? Yeah, That's yeah, where Austin, you reside Texas, just at yeah, the moment. Yeah. Well, uh, you've come back to Scotland how many times? The second year? <laughs> no, the third, fourth. Now. Third year. And yeah. you not only did Scotland this year, yeah. you also did the Glastonbury Festival uh, yeah. this year. <laughs> now, what's it like <laughs> tapping <laughs> in mud? <laughs> That's what <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't yeah, work. That well, you know, <laughs> I went to the venue, and, uh, and uh, after getting through the mud and, and, and getting into the venue, and uh, he says, oh, we were ready, and I looked at the stage, and there was this mud all across the stage. I said, I'm tap dancing. He says, oh, you're tap dancing. I said, yeah, but not on mud, though. <laughs> so did they clean so it So they got you? all these people out with shovels <laughs> scraping mud off the stage. <laughs> but actually, half the show is, is the laugh, isn't it? Is that not literally half, obviously. But, you know. Now, you're but it was at a great the, experience, the yeah. um, what have I got there? Venue C. It's C, C venue. C, C venue. C venue. Yeah. C Next to the jazz bar on Chambers yeah. Street. Yeah. Yeah. And that's at 7.50. 7.50. In Chambers yeah. Street. So yeah. we're, we're One hour, 50 there. minutes. Yeah. So you get a lovely show you there. Get a full and show. for the people that don't want to go out at night, I got a children's show at 12 o'clock. <laughs> have you really? <laughs> yeah, because I get to do whatever I want to at the children's show. The children come up and throw stuff. I throw stuff. We have fun. <laughs> <laughs> that's starting to sound a bit freaky, frankly. But um, I'm sure it was just a lovely, lovely show. Would you please put your hands together for moving Melvin Brown! Thank you. Joy, joy. That tonight's gonna be a good night. That tonight's gonna be a good night. That tonight's gonna be a good night.